friends and welcome back to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my all-time favorite Greek appetizers, kolokitokeftedes. That just translates to zucchini meatballs. There's really no meat in them. They're a completely vegetarian appetizer that is so delicious. It's crisp on the outside, very juicy and flavorful on the inside from all of the herbs and lots and lots of fresh zucchini. These were featured in every single restaurant that we went to. They were on the menu and we had them every single time we went out to eat in Greece this past summer. I shared, it, I shared it in my stories with you on Instagram and I got so many messages for requests to teach you how to make these. I did teach another version, an older version, way back in the beginning of the channel when this channel was way younger. I'm making this recipe much better and easier to make. And if you like this recipe and also want to see a full menu on how to incorporate this and serve it with some grilled lamb chops, I'll post a link down below where you can become a member of my new community over at Patreon where I am sharing full menu episodes over there. So I'll post a link to check it out. Let's go over the ingredients so we can start making these. We're going to need some salt, freshly ground black pepper, two eggs, feta cheese, fresh mint, breadcrumbs. This bowl has breadcrumbs for, for rolling the meatballs in. Then we're going to need some fresh green onions, also known as scallions, crushed red pepper flakes, which are totally optional, unseasoned breadcrumbs for the filling, and lots of shredded zucchini. So you're going to want to begin by shredding all of the zucchini. I like using a box grater. Put it in a strainer and sprinkle some salt. I sprinkled about a quarter teaspoon of salt over the zucchini and mixed it around. And you want to let it drain for at least half an hour up to an hour. And after that time, you're going to see that it has released lots and lots of liquid. This is liquid that you do not want to end up in your zucchini meatballs because it'll make them soggy and they will not be able to hold together. I'm going to set that aside and we'll work on it in a second. And I'm going to finally slice these green onions. They're also known as scallions. And you're going to want to make sure that the scallions are very nice and clean and there's no dirt in them. So after you're done slicing them, put them in a bowl of cold water and just swirl them all around. Separate the ones that are stuck together and all of the dirt will sink down to the bottom. Now, if they're very dirty, you can change out this water and do this two, three times unless, until they're really clean. Then go ahead and put them in a little strainer and shake off all of the excess water. Next, I'm going to finally chop this mint. Now, I did the same thing with the mint, but this time before I chopped it because then it's kind of hard to gather it all up. So I just had it in a bowl of cold water. Just wrap it all up, all together into a little ball so that way it's easy to chop up. And then go ahead and finally chop the fresh mint. So in my big mixing bowl here, I have unseasoned breadcrumbs. You can use any breadcrumbs you like, panko, or if you make your own, you can use those. Just make sure they're unsalted and unseasoned. And then I added my mint to it. I'm going to add the scallions. So even though the zucchini has released a lot of water, there's still more. So you want to take a handful at a time and squeeze it as much as you can and then place it in the bowl. Do that to all of the shredded zucchini. And now look at how much liquid we've gotten out. So this is perfect. You don't want any of that in your meatball mixture. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a teaspoon of salt over the top. The zucchini is already seasoned with salt. This is mostly for the breadcrumb mixture. And then a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes for heat. I like it. If you don't like it, you can leave it out. And then some freshly ground black pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead and crumble all of this feta cheese inside the mixture. Make sure that you crumble your own feta cheese. I've said it a million times, but if you're new to this channel, I'll say it again just so that way you can hear it too. Crumbled feta cheese sold at the supermarket is probably the lowest quality. So get your own feta cheese in the chunk form and crumble it yourself. Now mix it all up. You can do this with a fork or a spoon but I like to use my clean hands to make sure everything is well incorporated. You might be thinking I forgot the egg, but I didn't. I'll tell you why in a moment. Once it's all mixed up, you can go ahead and give it a taste to see if seasoning needs to be adjusted. And to me, that's perfect. The feta adds the perfect amount of saltiness and it's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix up these two eggs. Just whisk them up a little bit with a fork. So that's the reason I'm adding the eggs now rather than before because I don't really like to taste raw eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and whisk these up. 
Add them to the mixture and give it one more mix until everything is incorporated. And that's it. This is what the mixture should look like once it's done. You could form little walnut sized balls and then put them on a tray that's lined with parchment paper until all of the mixture is done. So you're going to want to have a little assembly line set up. I have the zucchini meatballs ready on the tray. I also have a little shallow dish of breadcrumbs. These are also unseasoned breadcrumbs ready so that way we can roll them. I have a tray lined with paper towels so it could absorb the oil that's going to be released once they're fried. And then over here, I have some vegetable oil heating over medium high heat. If you have a thermometer, that's great. You want it to get to 375 degrees Fahrenheit because once you put the fritters in, the temperature is going to drop and you do not want them to get soggy with all of that oil. So 375 is the temperature that you're looking for. Now you want to take one zucchini meatball at a time and just toss it in the breadcrumbs just to get it coated. And then go ahead and carefully pop it in the hot oil. Once they're golden brown all around, take them out and kind of shake off the excess oil and put them on the tray that's lined with paper towels so all that excess oil can drain. And then just keep frying them until you're done with all of the little zucchini balls. So all of my zucchini meatballs are ready. They're fried and they're golden and crisp to perfection. I cannot wait to take a bite of these. But before I do that, let me tell you a few make ahead tips and tricks. So if you want to make this recipe for a party, there is a trick to make some of it ahead of time. Now, you are going to want to watch my menu series that I have on Patreon where I've used these to make a delicious end of summer menu. I'll put the link down below if you want to recreate that menu at home. If you don't want to get it on Patreon, you can download the ebook on my website. I'll put that link down below too. It has every single step and all the recipes on there. But you can definitely make the mixture a day ahead of time. So before you fry it, you put it all together, put it in an airtight container and store it in your fridge for one day. Now when you go to take it out the next day, you are going to notice that the zucchini has released more liquid and more moisture. Don't be afraid. Just take it to the sink and drain out as much as you can and throw that away. Discard it, not the mixture, the liquid. And then go ahead and put about a half a cup more breadcrumbs in there or until you mix it and then they hold together. They're still going to be wet because this is a very juicy, moist meatball. So don't try to stuff too many uh, breadcrumbs in there and make it dry. Half to one cup should be more than enough. Form them, fry them. You can fry these about an hour or two before your party because they taste absolutely delicious at room temperature. If you want to serve them warm, just preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Put them in there for like five minutes or until they're nice and toasted and then take them out and serve them. I love to serve these with creamy tzatziki sauce. The combination of the yogurt and the cucumber that's in there with the crispiness and the juiciness of these uh, zucchini meatballs is to die for. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. I hope you could hear that crispy sound. And the exterior is perfectly crispy. The inside is juicy. The feta cheese chunks in there are just the cherry on top. The mint and all of the herbs make this taste out of this world delicious and they all go together so well. If you want this recipe, you can print it out on my website, DemetriusDishes.com. You guys know where to go. You can also get the ebook on there. I'll post all these links in the description box down below. If you want to learn how to get rid of that pesky fried food smell in your house, you're going to want to click on this, rest, on this link up here. If it's not up there already, it's going to be the next video coming up in a few days. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you guys next time. Yes, us.